Hey, what's going on guys? I actually wasn't planning on doing a vlog, but earlier tonight when I was at the gym, it literally just happened. It's it's about midnight right here and around 11.20, I got a message on uh, IG. It was from someone that actually been following me for a while. I'm not gonna say their name or show, you know, everything in the message for their privacy. But let's just say my friend Tom. Tom has been following me for a while. I asked him if it's okay if I show bits of the message for a vlog because it definitely uh, is something I could relate to and it touched me. Um, his message was, thanks for me posting my videos. He's been following me for a while and I appreciate it. Um, he also just told me he just got out of a relationship and he's not taking it so well but he's going day by day and he actually apologized for bothering me i'm like it's no bother man if you guys ever want to reach out to me um i'm pretty active on ig not as much on facebook but ig i am and on youtube comments i try to get back to everyone when i can but to my friend tom he, he's a kid he's a young guy i He's like 19, that's a kid. That's a kid to me, I'm 34 now. I just wanted to say thank you for the ongoing support, man. Thanks for the message and thanks for opening up to me like that. I appreciate it. It just seems like we're all going through things. We're all going through stuff. As far as relationship goes, sometimes in life, the person you thought you're with turns out to be someone totally different and they just aren't who you thought they were and they're just not meant for you it's okay anyone that has ever been through heartbreak had their heart broken if you've been alive long enough as long as me it's gonna happen and it's easier said than done there's no like five steps to cure a heartbreak there are things that can help but it's one of those things that you're gonna have to go through man you're gonna have to go through and you're gonna have to take it day by day like how you're doing it now and you can use that pain use that feel to motivate you to be a better person use it as fuel to get into the gym to work out harder to become smarter work on your career your business whatever it is you're trying to do use that time to work on yourself don't let that feeling of hate turn you into something you're not. Let's just say you're with someone. I don't know exactly what happened between the relationship. Obviously, you're hurt. Don't let that pain make you into something you're not. Don't go around hurting other people because you've been hurt. I know a lot of people who get out of a relationship, they just jump into the next one to try to get over their ex. But be very careful doing that, man. Cause you can leave a trail of broken hearts. It's not gonna heal you if that's the route you're trying to go to. But you should have options. You should go out there. You should have fun, but just be careful. You know, the main thing is if you don't fix yourself, you're gonna constantly cause an endless cycle of pain to other people. And you as a man, sometimes you're going to go through things alone. You're going to have to figure it out alone, but it's going to make you a better person. Sorry, I wasn't planning on doing a vlog. Um, that message touched me and I figured, hey, let me knock out this video in my car, the qualities and all that. But I just wanted to say that to you. And it's never a bother, man. Use this time as your winter arc. Use that as time to focus on your goals. Use that pain as fuel. Surround yourself with positive people. If you don't have any friends, go out there and make friends. Listen to positive messages, positive videos, vlogs, and f use that time to figure out who you are. You're a young man, you're 19 years old. I know this heartbreak is going to seem like a big deal, but I'm telling you, man, from experience, months down the road, you won't even think about this girl. 
And sometimes in life, you're going to get your heart broken over and over again until you find the right person. And so when it's right, you know that it's right. You don't want to ever settle, man. And I saw a quote the other day that I really love and I could relate to that definitely relates to this topic. Sometimes in life, it's better to admit fault and walk out the door than spend your whole life being in a room you don't belong in and that means to me sometimes in life you got to end that certain relationship or that relationship has to end that friendship that job whatever it is it has to end and spend your whole life being with someone or doing something you're not just because it's comfortable or just because it's all you know and right now it's gonna hurt but you're gonna have to push through that hurt and use it as a way to become a better person. And months down that road, you're not even gonna remember this girl. Or you will, but she won't even phase you. And thanks for reaching out to me, man. I appreciate it. I was just at the gym working out and I checked my message. And I decided to make this video after talking to you. And I hope you're doing all right. I, I hope you keep going, man. Take it day by day. Don't look for outside sources to be happy. You know, could you rely on outside sources, other people, things, when they take it away, you're just stuck with yourself. So if you're not happy within yourself, you'll never truly be happy. And right now, yeah, it's easier said than done. But just take it day by day, day. read good books, study different things, whatever your passions are. If you don't know what your passions are, go out there and experiment. You know, right now I hear you're working out, that's awesome. Maybe join a specific gym, try a new sport, train in martial arts like me, anything to keep your mind occupied. You know, they say sometimes it's good to stay busy so you don't have time to be sad. And definitely reach out for professional help if you can. You know, I'm not no therapist, but I'm just sharing what works for me. When I go down, go through stuff, feel down, when I feel down and stuff. But I hope you're good. I hope everyone is doing well. And if you're not, I hope you have the strength to keep going and keep fighting. And stay true to yourself in your heart. That's all, man. Thanks for stopping by. Everyone that follow and support me, I appreciate you guys. Take care, be safe, and have a good night.